Hi guys, welcome back. It's Mrs. Peterson, that lady who teaches art. And today we're gonna talk about glazing your slab evergreen tree. So when we get up to the clay room uh, today, we're gonna walk around the outside. I'm gonna show you each of the glazes. Each glaze, the kind of like the paint for the clay, um, is gonna be in a bottle kind of like this or smaller. And then it's gonna be sitting on a paper plate and most of them have a little chip like this and that shows you what color it's going to turn out when you cook it. Because right now this looks like black, but that's not what comes out after I cook it in the kiln that's gonna come out green or this one's sea green. So just like when I bake a cake and it goes in, the batter is all liquidy, a chemical reaction happens in the heat and it comes out completely different. And that's what's gonna happen in our kiln is it's gonna have a chemical reaction. It's gonna come out completely different. So the first thing we're gonna do is I'm gonna walk around and I'm gonna show you all of your choice options. And then um, you're going to think about like your first choice, maybe your second choice, maybe your third choice, because you might not get your very, very favorite first choice, okay? So I chose today sea green. And when you get up there, you're gonna get your pot back, I'm gonna, or your tree back. I'm gonna read out your initials. You're gonna get a clean, dry paintbrush. And then you're gonna go sit by the glaze that you've chose. Uh, when I can tell that everybody has a spot, then I'm gonna come around and I'm gonna shake them all because sometimes some of the chemicals and minerals that we need are down here at the bottom and then the color won't turn out right. So I'm gonna shake them for you. And then I'm gonna twist off the lid, if I can, and I'm gonna set it down on the plate. Now, some students think that the clay goes in the middle of the plate. No, the clay can go on the table. The glaze is gonna go in the middle of the plate. And then you're going to paint on the glaze. Now, um, I can get right from the rim here, and I'm gonna start where I, I don't need to glaze the inside because that would just be a waste of glaze. No one's ever gonna see that. And I definitely do not wanna glaze the bottom. If I glaze the bottom, it's gonna get cooked and fired onto my kiln shelf and it will get stuck. It'll become one piece with my kiln shelf. And then to get it out of there, we're gonna have to break it with a hammer to get it out and now your piece is in pieces, okay? So that's not a good idea. So I'm gonna have you hold from the middle and you're gonna just start painting on your glaze. And as you're painting it on, you don't want any um, white to show through. Just gonna start painting. And if you need to dip your paintbrush down in there, uh, try to be careful and look where your paintbrush is going so that you're not going and getting glaze all over the brush handle. Cause as we spoke about earlier, the glaze is very expensive and we just don't wanna waste it. You do not need to worry about glazing down in the um, holes if you made holes on your tree. Some classes did, some classes didn't. Just paint on the top. Okay, and like we said, this is looking black or gray right now, but it's definitely not gonna turn out that way. Um, I do want you to stay a little bit away from the edge. So you see how I'm leaving just a little bit of a buffer zone? I'm just gonna go around and paint a little edge so that I don't get too close to the bottom because when this glaze gets fired, uh, the glazes have silica in them, which is one of those minerals that we talked about. And when silica gets hot, it tends to run down. Like think about honey, how it kind of drips. Uh, silica, when it gets hot, it drips. And so we don't want that to drip down and touch the kiln shelf. So I'm just gonna have you go around and give yourself like a nice little edge so you don't get too close to the bottom. Okay. And then when you think you're done, just kind of double check and make sure that you have all your little white spots filled in. Okay. And again, I don't mean the holes if your tree has like straw holes in it. I just mean like, like right there, there's some little white spots and I try to get those with my paintbrush. When you have one dry layer, it, it dries pretty fast, but you need to just like mine has some wet spots right here. So don't go right now, wait till it's dry. When you have one dry layer, you're gonna go again. You're gonna put a second coat on it. Same thing, start at the top, work all the way down, and then give yourself that edge around the bottom. When you are done with two coats of that color, if we have time and if you are responsible as a class, I might let you get a different paintbrush and add details. Listen to the details. You could do dots of another color, like, um, like ornaments on your tree, spread out ornaments. You could do like a swirl going around and up like we do with lights on a Christmas tree. Um, you could do stripes. What I don't want you to do is cover the whole tree again with another layer because that chemical reaction might turn out completely different than you think. 
If I'm using yellow and blue paint and I mix them, it makes green. If I'm using yellow and blue glaze, you have no idea what color could come out. It could come out purple, okay? It could come out pink, you don't know. So we're not gonna mix the whole color, the whole thing with a, a different color, but if you wanna add a detail of ornaments or a detail of a stripe or a swirl going up, if you do a good job as a class and if we have time left, I might let you do that. When we're done, each time you don't use a, a dirty brush with a different color. So when the brush is dirty and you're done with that color, you're gonna put it in the sink. And then when we're all done, if um, whether I let you put those details on or maybe we don't have time or we don't have a chance to, um, we're gonna stack, uh, set these near the kiln on a table and I'll show you where that is. And then they'll dry and I'll put them in the kiln the next time I fire it, okay?